Mud Pony. A long time ago, in a small town of Baravallo, there lived a boy named Peter. He was the son of a poor farmer family. John, how did it go this time? We've lost all the crops. We'll have to move because it isn't affordable here anymore. Peter, at times, went days with just eating one meal or sleeping with an empty stomach. Despite the tough times, Peter's parents ensured that he went to school. He was a bright student and loved to sculpt. Peter always walked back home while his friends had beautiful ponies that took them. Carl, you got a new pony. Yes, my dad got me. Isn't he cute? Indeed. See you tomorrow, Peter. Oh, how I wish I had a pony. And off went Peter back to his home. He stopped by the fields. The rainstorm may stop the crops from growing, but it sure won't stop me from sculpting. Peter sculpted a beautiful pony out of the wet mud. Whew! Welcome to my world, my adorable mud pony. Thank you for making me, Peter. Huh? Did you just talk? <laughs> Maybe I'm just too sleepy. Let me take him to the stable. Peter took his mud pony to the stable, just like the other kids. He fed water to him. It melts him a little. Uh oh! I forgot you aren't real, little pony. Here you go. As days passed, Peter's parents had to trade a couple of things from home to make a living. This time, I may have to give this lucky charm of mine. While Peter kept his mud pony a secret and went to it every time. The next day, something very odd occurred. Ah! 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 Stop! You're scaring me. What? You slept right here in the stable. Your parents were looking for you, but they left to meet the chief. You're talking. How is this possible? Wow. I didn't know I was more important. Anyway, the Earth Mother felt pity on you. She said, "Go, become real, live thou life." Huh? Hey, no more questions. Go and freshen up. I must get you to your parents. So Peter freshened up and ran back to his mud pony. He hopped on, and they were set to start the day. Where are we headed? I want to eat. Oh, I totally forgot that humans eat. So do horses, silly. Really? Can't relate. <laughs> so what's the plan? I am going to be making you rich. What? So we're going to be meeting this fancy chief on the way. And you have to give me to him. This is too much to process. What's going on? Never mind. Just say yes to him. Easy. The mud pony picked Peter by his collar and kept him on his back. And off they went, galloping across the woods. I can't believe I have a pony. What should I name you? Hmm. I'll call you Buddy. Buddy. Okay, approved. Buddy and Peter met his parents midway. Peter ran towards them. Peter, oh darling, I was so worried. We were looking for you. We were worried sick. How did you get here? Um, Buddy dropped me. Where did you get him from? We've got no time. The chief will leave any moment. And he talks. Now the mud pony, along with Peter's family, went to meet the chief. Howdy, mate. <sighs> the chief's eyes caught Buddy. He was in awe over how beautiful and elegant he looked. So what is it that you've got there, my friends? Um, <clears throat> I've got some silver utensils that we don't use anymore. We'd like to get some money, enough for the next two weeks. I'm afraid these utensils are worth this high. However, 
I can surely offer you something. I will give you some ten gold coins and all my five horses. Peter's parents were puzzled. But only if you give me him. The chief pointed towards Buddy. No! That's my son's pony that he longed for, so I'm afraid not, sir. Then maybe I'm not going to be much of a help this time. Peter, I told you. You have to give me up just for now. Say yes. Um, wait. Here you go. Peter, you don't have to. Mother, I trust Buddy. He's here to help. Peter handed Buddy to the chief. And in return, he gave them the trade he promised. Peter and his parents went back home with the horses and the gold coins. Meanwhile, the chief was beyond happy to have received the mud pony. You're such a unique horsey. Let me take you home. The chief took the mud pony back home and gave him water. Here you go. Have some water. The mud pony turned his face. A little later, the chief got him hay. The mud pony didn't eat that either. Huh? Darwin, bring him the best hay in town. As his men got all types of hay, including the best one, the mud pony didn't eat, for he was not a real horse. Why aren't you eating? That's because I ain't real. What do you mean? And how are you talking? Ah, uh, come on. While the chief dealt with his confusion with the mud pony, Peter and his family could finally afford to bring farming materials. They used the horses to transport seeds and necessities. Peter helped his parents to farm. Eventually, their farming picked up and they sold fruits and vegetables to a nearby town and made good money. A few months later, there was a knock at the door. Yes? It's me. Oh, Chief. How have you been, sir? Very well, mate. What about you? We have no complaints. It's all because of you that we are doing well now. There's something I wanted to tell you. Yes? Could we exchange our trade again? Sure, but what's the matter? The pony? He doesn't eat, neither does he drink. Oh. The other day he dirtied the lawn entirely when I took him there. His feet are always muddy and they dissolve when you put water. That's because he's made of mud. How about you take back your horse and I take back mine? You can keep the coins. Ah, uh, don't bother. I'll give you three gold coins out of the five. Also, my son Peter was missing his little pony. The mud pony was standing right outside. Did you miss me? Buddy! Peter hugged the mud pony tightly. The mud pony was nearly smashed. Easy, young man, easy! Money sure can't buy this kind of happiness. I reckon. So the chief took his horses back. He bid a goodbye and left with his men. Peter, his family, and the mud pony reunited. Peter also kept him back in the same stable he made him in. Buddy took Peter to his school and back. During rainy days, he was kept in the stable for safety. It was wonderful! Peter, his family, and the mud pony lived happily.